Not too long ago, I listed a hundred items in two days, and so I thought I would celebrate by going shopping. Won't nobody love you the way they should. Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good. Won't nobody check those body tendons by your neck. All Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park. Welcome back to my channel if you have been here before, and if this is your first time watching a video of mine, welcome. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. Today we're gonna do a thrift haul, or not really a thrift haul because this is stuff that I purchased at a local buy sell trade store from a local Plato's closet and so I don't know if you'd really call that thrifting let me know in the comments what you think but on my channel I do a lot of thrift hauls or buy sell trade store hauls I also do tips and tricks videos weekly what sold videos things of that nature so if that sounds interesting to you please consider subscribing especially if you enjoy reselling from the perspective of a part-time reseller recently I went to my local Plato's closet because they were having a 70% off sale I did do a haul of some items that I purchased when they were doing their 50% off sale and I will put that right here and some of these items are things that I saw while I was there for the 50% off sale and I was like you know what I'm gonna wait for a deeper discount and that deeper discount came around the items were still there so I picked them up and at some point they are gonna be doing a 90% off clearance but I actually will not be able to attend it because of my schedule maybe I'll go like you know after the sale event itself they keep those things at 90% off and I'm sure it'll be really slim pickings at that point but at that point I'll pick up things that maybe there's like a 10 15 dollar profit versus anything much higher okay so not only was my play-doh's closet doing a 70 percent off sale but they were also doing buy to get the third item free so I'll tell you the prices of everything that I picked up but also just remember that like a third of these items is that how it works I don't know a good number of these items did end up being free so that brought down my cost of goods as well so for everything I paid 127 dollars and I averaged out the cost of goods to being $3.27 per item. But I will tell you how much each item was individually priced at. So you can kind of do the math of like, if I were to pay 30% for each item, how much would I have paid? But that's not actually what I paid because I got every third item free, if that makes sense. Okay, let's get into it. So the first thing that I picked up was this pair of Mephistos. Mephisto is a brand very similar to Birkenstock. It's like that same kind of comfort shoe, comfort sandals. They have, you know, it's this style with like the footbed and the straps. It's um, real leather and they're just supposed to be really comfortable and kind of like mold to your feet as you wear them. They kind of learn the shape of your feet and that's why they're so comfortable. These were made in France. They are a size nine and they had them listed for $55. That's how much they were trying to get for them in the store. I don't know how much I can get for these yet, but I will put something right here and they were in really great condition, which is why I picked them up. So there is that. The next thing I picked up, I probably, I don't know, I, I noticed a few flaws when I got them home and it's my fault for not checking them out um, super carefully, but they were really cheap. These are Steve Madden espadrilles with like a leopard print upper and these are actually made of cow hair. So, I mean, the materials are good. It's like actual cow hair up on top. It's got the espadrille um, sole. The flaw that I noticed was like right here, for example, I don't know if you can see it, but like the straw or like, you know, this part right here, it's kind of come undone just a little bit right there. I might be able to like snip it and it might not be a big deal. We'll see. There's a little bit of that happening right here too. Again, it's really hard to see on the camera. Other than that though, they're in pretty good condition. Steve Madden can do okay, but um, I just like the print. I like the style and the fact that you can just slip them on. That's really nice. These are in a size six and a half and I will let you know right here how much I think I can get for them. They were $14 in the store, which I think is really reasonable. Also, I am trying to do a better job of bookkeeping this year in 2021, and I'm trying to do a better job of actually listing things before the videos go up. And so um, by the time you watch this video, all of this stuff should be available in my Poshmark closet, eBay store, all the different places that I sell on. And furthermore, they should also be available in my Shopify store. And Shopify is definitely the cheapest price that I can offer on all of these items. And the reason for that is because they have the smallest fees when it comes to platform fees. So if you are interested in anything, I definitely recommend checking out my Shopify first, just because you can get these items at the cheapest price that I can sell them. So just throwing that out there. All right, the next thing that I picked up is this pair of 
New Balance shoes. Um, I'm trying to pick up more like necessity type items. And I think that, you know, athletic shoes definitely fall into that category. These are the True Fuse. I don't know what that means. 860 version 7. I don't know anything about that, but I will do some research and let you know right here. They were um, originally priced at $18 at Play-Doh's and they are a size 7. They're in really good shape. Um, the soles, I think, look pretty good. And there is a little bit of wear on the inside, but nothing like crazy. Just like a little bit of pilling and just a little bit of wear like right behind the ankle. But other than that, they're in really good shape. So we'll see how those do. I loved these. And I saw these when they were 50% off. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to get them yet. I'm going to wait for the 70% off. And thankfully, they were still there. It's this pair of Vans. Oh, you can see the sheen. Look how beautiful. So they have kind of like this Asian floral print, um, very delicately embroidered on. There are a couple flaws, not really flaws, but like, let's see. So like, if you look at it from this angle, you can see that there's like a little bit of wear to the embroidery. It's so minimal though. And I think just like a few little snips will honestly take care of it. Um, there is a little bit of dirt on the back of this one right here. I think that'll be really easy to get off, but I just have to be really careful because of how delicate the shoes are with like all the embroidery. I don't really sell Vans very much, but these were just so pretty. I could not leave them behind. Um, they are a uh, US Men 4 or a women's five and a half part of me like wants to try them on i think they would be too big but um oh i just thought they were so cute so these um they had priced at 24 dollars. i'm hoping to get this much for them but i just thought they were beautiful i could not leave them behind especially when they were still there at 70 percent off so gorgeous smaller size but you know people like me wear smaller sizes okay getting into some of the clothes I know that Under Armour can do decently, and I just thought these were so interesting. So these, I believe, are a size medium, if I remember correctly, and it doesn't really say anywhere on the pants, but I think that's what the tag said. Yeah, it says that it's a size medium. So it's this pair of pants by Under Armour. It has a spell out. There is some cracking on the lettering, as you can see, so I will have to note that. But they're basically just these like loungewear pants. They have a fold over right there with like this really cool graphic print. Um, they're joggers, so they taper in at the ankle. They have pockets. I would live in these. Like if these were my size, I would just keep them. Um, and I kind of debated if I should get them or not, but I just thought they were really cool. I think I'll probably list them for 25 and see what happens. Um, they wanted, let's see, they wanted $16, but I just thought those were so cool. So I'm excited about those. This is a pair of Zara women jeans um, in a size two. They wanted $16 for them. I think I will try these on first, but I don't even think I can fit into them anymore. But I still think that they'll sell for like 20 to 25 dollars and i you know paid 327 for them so i'm okay with that they are more of like a mid-rise which is why i think maybe i'll have to sit on them for just a little bit but they have a lot of other things going for them like the um the raw hem or like the uh what is this called like the released hem and then i do like the distressed detail that they have i like the wash so um We'll see. I'll try them on. I'll put them in my little pile. I, I don't think that they'll actually fit. So we'll see what happens. By the way, the shirt that I'm wearing, if you watch the show Shits Creek, you know, but it's Bob's Garage. I got it from a friend of mine on uh, Poshmark from Amanda. Actually, I just bought it from her directly, but thank you so much. I love it. Okay. The next thing I picked up is also for me. I have to try it on and if it doesn't fit, I will go ahead and list it. Um, they wanted $20 for this, but it's Nike Pro Dry Fit. Um, just a pair of leggings with like a very kind of like geometric, almost like pixelated uh, print. It's got the swoosh here on the bottom. And you'll see I picked up an identical pair just in a different colorway. They wanted 20. If I sold it, I think I would probably list it for like 25. But those are probably going to be mine. Ooh, I forgot. I have another pair of shoes. I was actually pretty excited about these. Um, 
This is a pair of boots by Kendall plus Kylie. So they have two versions of their brand, if you will. There's Kendall and Kylie, and that's sold at Pacific Sunwear, and it doesn't retail for very much. But then this is Kendall plus Kylie, so it's like the plus sign. And this brand is sold on Revolve and just some more higher end online boutiques. This pair of boots is called like the Four Fab or something like that. Let me see, Four Rad. Rad four, okay, and it is real leather. They're in a size seven and a half. I just thought they were really cool and edgy. I liked the studs, I liked the buckles. There is a tiny bit of wear on both toes, as you can see, um, just some scuff marks right there. I don't own anything to fix stuff like that. I know I should, like, am I even a real reseller? I don't know, but um, maybe I'll look into some like leather conditioner or like the, I know a lot of people use the Doc Martens Wonder Balls and like that sort of thing. It's about high time that I invested in that kind of stuff. But yeah, I just thought these were really gorgeous. I kind of couldn't believe that they were still there and that no one had snatched them up. Um, they wanted $12 for this. And that's because they didn't know that there's a difference between Kendall plus Kylie and Kendall and Kylie. I'm going to see if I can show you. I can't. I can't show you. Oh, well, maybe here at the bottom. There we go. See the Kendall plus Kylie? Very different from Kendall and Kylie. These have been selling on Poshmark for like that $50 range. So my hope is that I can get about that much for these boots. So that was exciting. All right, next up is this pair of Athleta leggings. They are in like a black color with like a really nice sheen. This is what that looks like. They appear to be more of like a mid-rise, which, you know, high-rise is always better at this point in the game. People are looking for high-rise like crazy. They wanted $16 for these. I I think that they're 7 eighths, but I don't know because I'm really short, so <laughs> everything looks really long to me. Um, I don't know how much I can price these at yet. I will do some research and let you know right here. And the nice thing about Athleta too is that typically on the tag, they will tell you when, you know, this particular piece was released. Um, so you can tell if it's like super old and not worth picking up. And they'll also give you the style number. So you can just type Athleta and then the style number um, into Google and it should pop up exactly what it is that you have. Um, it can show you some stock pictures if you're into that and it can give you the style name. So, you know, here Here's the tag. This has um, just like what it's made out of and all that stuff, but then there's like a little tag underneath and you can see, maybe not because of my lighting, but this was from fall 2017, so it's not like super old. But then above that, it has a bunch of different series of numbers and you just try those to see which one is the style number. I don't remember which one off the top of my head, but one of those numbers is the one that contains the style name and information about your garment. So um, excited about that. Athletic wear is selling really well right now because people have all those New Year's resolutions regarding their health. I know I do, which is why I picked up some leggings and stuff for myself. Um, so if you have athletic wear, get it listed. This, um, I will insert a picture of myself here to show you how good I looked in this. But I thought this was so cute. This was one of those things that I didn't pick up when it was 50% off because comps are like, Meh, they're not amazing, but I just needed to have it in my life. It is this romper from Nike. So it's like an athletic romper, perfect athleisure piece, perfect just kind of for lounging around in the house or for you know, wearing to like an amusement park or something. I don't know. Like it just, it's such a nice, easy piece. It is in my size. I actually feel like I will try it on for real because in the picture that I showed you, it was like over my PJ. <laughs> so I didn't get a real accurate feel for how it fit on me. They wanted 16 for it. It is an extra small. Comps are like in that 18 to $22 range. So um, I don't know if it fits and if I can wear it a few times, I think I'll do that first. All right, this is a pair of jeans from Torrid. They are a size 22. Torrid, just like Athleta, they have a lot of information on their tags that will help you out when it comes to knowing what you have. 
This particular pair of pants doesn't seem to have that information, but typically, oh, it's been cut out. So here's like the tag that tells you the information and stuff. And right here, you can see that it's been cut, but they will tell you again, like the year and the season of when that garment is from. And um, they'll have a style number that you can type in and you can pull up stock pictures, the name, the style name of what you have, all that good stuff. So um, I do really like to try and be inclusive when it comes to the kinds of sizes that I have for sale in my Poshmark closet and all of the other platforms that I sell on. So I am always on the hunt for good plus size clothing. Um, this, I don't know if it's high rise or not. I have to measure, but this also seems to be more of like an ankle pant. So there's that. And they wanted $14 for this. This, I also feel like you could wear to like work. It looks a little bit more formal they're almost like chinos actually maybe they are chinos and they have like the flap over the back pocket too so i thought that that was a really good pickup and um you know people really like the brand torrid so i wanted to capitalize on that i did pick up a few lulu's pieces um you've heard me talk about lulu's i'm not very good at lulu's <laughs> like i don't really know what kind of stuff to pick up or what sells i did see one of their like maxi bridesmaid type dresses for sale the problem was there were a lot of um flaws on it so i ended up not getting that and i know that that's typically what sells best for lulu's but i decided i would try some other pieces and see how they went i actually passed on a lot of the lulu's so there's even more at that particular play-dohs that i did not pick up but this stuff i thought might be worth it so this isn't a size medium it is like this crushed velvet dress with a high neck i'm really loving a high neck lately i just think it's so classy looking it is sleeveless um it's probably really perfect for like winter because you know it'd be really nice to wear to like winter like holiday parties and whatnot but i think you could also wear it to like weddings or parties or things like that um yeah just pretty classy just like a nice little swing dress so i picked that up they wanted ten dollars for it and then another lulu's piece this is a little bit more formal this is a size small it is strapless and it has this kind of like lace overlay with this big ruffle detail up on the front and this is perfect for maybe like an engagement party i mean you could wear this as a wedding guest but technically are you supposed to wear white to weddings i don't know let me know in the comments if you wear white to weddings if you just don't care it reminds me of that um office episode where mindy kaling wears a white dress i think it's to phyllis's wedding i thought you're not supposed to wear white to a wedding i know but there was an emergency i look really good in white but i thought that was beautiful i don't know how to price either of those the crushed velvet one maybe i'll price it around like 25 and this i don't know maybe i'll price both of them around 25 we'll see this one i don't think i'll get a ton for it's lou and gray they wanted 12 dollars for it it's a size small lou and gray is kind of a sub brand or they sell it inside of loft um and it does okay i think people like it but it's not like you know it's a mall brand but I just thought this was really easy and cute and perfect for just, again, running errands and lounging around the house in. It is made of a linen blend, which is one of the reasons I got it. Um, just very classic silhouette. The stripes are classic. I actually think I'm gonna try this on myself first, but if I were to sell it, I'd probably list it for like, I don't know, around $20 or something like that. Okay, next step is this brand Collusion. I don't know anything about this brand, but I got it because they had a lot of things going for it. So it's a size 32, but I got it because I thought it looked really cool. I'm also not sure if it's men's or women's, so we're gonna find out together, but um, it's a tapered style. It kind of looks more men's-ish, right? But I don't know, it has like a raw hem. I don't know, I don't know what it is. I just thought it was pretty cool. So I'll look it up. I'll I'll kind of insert any more information that I can find about it here. They wanted 16 for these. So I thought those were cool. I'll let you know how I'm gonna price them. This is a pair of shorts. Um, they had three bins by the register with just like shorts and skirts and basically summer wear. So I kind of perused through those the best that I could. And I um, pulled out some shorts because starting pretty soon i'm going to be listing a bunch of shorts and hoping that they sell pretty quickly um this is just american eagle 
their shorts do pretty well for me. And this is in a size six. The style is the midi. I think this is really great for people who like a little bit more modest of a look. They don't want their butt cheeks hanging out. I do have some butt cheek hanging out shorts coming up here soon, but I know for me, like I'm definitely much more comfortable wearing shorts like these than like the super short ones. Um, a, a lot of American Eagle jeans also have a very uh, generous amount of stretch in them, which people like, and people are very loyal to uh, American Eagle. So I'll probably price these around like 20 to $25 and realistically get Mm, like 18 or something like that they wanted 10. this is a japanese brand and the brand is called beams i don't know anything about it but it looked nice the tag looked nice and i thought i would look it up it seems to retail for a ton and it seems to actually resell for a good amount as well there just aren't as many listings up so it's kind of one of those under the radar brands um, it is a men's pair of pants made in japan um, there is like a leather part that is actually made of leather. I think that's actually just this, but it's basically a pair of like chinos or like, I don't know, like khaki type pants. They're really small. Um, it's a size large, but they're, they're not a size large. So I have to do measurements and stuff. I just thought I would try them out. They need a good steaming as well. There's a lot of wrinkles. But I'm always game to try new brands, especially when I can try them out for cheap. That's just like a little fuzz on the back. They wanted $14 for these. I thought those would be really great for guys to wear to like work or to wear really wherever. This is an interesting piece for a couple of reasons. It is Levi's. Um, part of me thinks that it's vintage. I don't know. You guys know I'm not very good with Levi's stuff. It just kind of confuses me. I think it's vintage because it says for girls and then it says extra small. There's no way that this is like an extra small for little girls though, because I think it's extra small women's. Like I'm pretty sure, let's see, let's see if I could wear it. Yeah, see, like this is extra small for women's, not for youth girls. So I don't know. I don't know why it is phrased like that. Um, so that's part of the reason why I think it's vintage. You know, the tags are pretty interesting. It was made in Tunisia. Yeah. I mean, even if it is vintage, I don't think that it's really worth like a ton, but we shall see. And I will list it and see what happens. Um, it's in really great shape. They wanted $10 for it. Um, I think I can get at least 25 for it. So there's that. Just a classic. I feel like everyone needs a denim jacket in their life. This is a dress that I picked up on style alone, and it also helped that it was new with tags, but it's from China. We have a lot of international students where I live because I live on a campus town or like a college town. So there's a lot of international students. I think the school here, the college here has the most Chinese international students out of every other college in America. So there are a lot of um, international students here. Um, and I'm not surprised that this dress was at play-dohs but i picked it up because i just thought it was so cute so it's got all these ruffles it's got this floral print it is a midi dress with like this ruffle at the bottom so i picked it up purely for style it's definitely something you could categorize as cottage core it's got like the puff sleeves with again the ruffle um the brand is hy corporation what is that i don't know but you know, the tags and everything are in Chinese. Um, it is a size medium, but different countries can and probably do size things differently. So I will definitely take measurements like I always do and include them in my listing so that people can make sure that, you know, it will actually fit them. They wanted $8 for this, $8. So I was excited to pick that up and I think that it will do well, especially just kind of based on style. One thing about stuff like this, I could, if I were a jerk, tag in the uh, description brands that this is similar to. I could tag like Faithful the Brand or Christy Dawn or Spell on the Gypsy or something like that. But don't do that. I mean, typically on my channel, I will not tell you like, you have to do this 100% or don't do this. Like, I, I try to kind of steer clear of that language, but that is really frustrating when you tag those brands and your item is not actually it. Even if you say like in the style of what happens is people will search for Christy Dawn and your item will come up and it's pretty frustrating. So for me, I definitely choose not to do that. Um, 
you know, it's your business. You can run it however you want. But uh, I do think that it's a popular style. And I think that that hopefully in and of itself will help that sell. This is another piece from Torrid. I think this is um, their newer tag. It's a size three, which is um, a three X. And let's see if this one has the tag that tells us the year and the style. If it has the tag, it'll probably be closer to the bottom here. Yep. Okay. So here's where they tell us like what the dress is made out of. And then here is where we can see um, the item number. That's what they call it. And then when it was made. So this is from 2018. They have something called a cut date and that's when they're supposed to um, remove these from their stores. So this is what the dress looks like. It is a maxi dress. It does have adjustable straps. It is tie-dye, which was super in last summer, and I'm hoping that it's still a trend that people care about. But yeah, it's just like a really long maxi dress, and it has like a seam on the bottom, so it's not just straight through, but it has even more fabric at the bottom to kind of help it like floof out a little bit. So I thought that was really pretty, and like I mentioned earlier, I'm always trying to add to my plus size offerings. I thought these were so cute. So this is Zara again, size two again. Look how cute. They're like mom shorts with embroidered pineapples on them. So perfect for the summer. Um, part of me wants to wear them myself, but I am actually allergic to pineapples. Not that that matters, but I, you know, I think I will. I think I'll try these on myself. But they were um, asking 14 for these. I would list those at 25. Another pair of shorts. This is BDG, which is an Urban Outfitters house brand. These are the super high rise cheeky shorts in a size 28. It just says it on the inside of the pocket. But look at that. Like there's not even really an inseam. The inseam is basically maybe an inch. Like. <laughs> I mean, these are short, like your booty will be sticking out. And some people like that. Um, that's not me. I don't like that, but some people do. And I'm not going to judge them for that. This I actually bought to send into thread up because it is a career piece. I don't know why they have this at Play-Doh's, but it's Banana Republic. It's a size two and it's new with tags. So I'm just going to go ahead and send it because I think even with the changes, it'll do better over there than it would for me. It's just black and white striped. It's got this pocket detail. Even if I can get a payout of like $30 on this, I would be really happy. So we'll see how that does, but I am gonna be sending that in to throw it up. Let me know in the comments below, are you still utilizing thread up? Is that still part of your business model for 2021? This I found interesting. I've never really seen anything like it. Um, again, it's plus size. The brand is just ACDC, but I feel like this was carried at Torrid. Um, it's a size 2X and it is this like muscle tank dress. <laughs> so it says ACDC on the front. It has their like band logo or whatever, but then it is a dress with like this lace detail at the bottom. I thought that was interesting. Um, $10 is what they were asking for it, but I will list it for, again, maybe around like 25 and see what happens. Um, I was kind of surprised by these, that these were even there. I don't know how they'll do, but I was willing to try them out. They wanted $10 for these. The brand is Bowdoin. Bowdoin is an English brand and um, their women's stuff I mean, they have a following, you know, but I don't know necessarily how this particular piece will do. It's a size 10 and it's this pair of high rise jeans, but they have this gold tuxedo stripe on the side. And then the bottom is kind of interesting. The stripe like comes down and kind of comes onto the front. I just thought it was interesting. It kind of opens up right there. Um, yeah, like why not? Right. So I thought I'd try it out. I like the size. We'll see how those do. I'll probably list them for maybe like 30, 35. This is another piece that um, the brand has a following, but I don't know how the piece will do. The brand is Mud Pie. Mud Pie sells um, stuff for kids and for women. A lot of people really love their kids stuff, but some people really like their women's stuff too. They wanted 16 for this, it's a size medium. It's like a camo print jacket, but the surprise factor is 
and the peplum hem which I thought was kind of interesting and it's like a raw hem so I like kind of that juxtaposition of the camo which we kind of associate to be tough and you know outdoorsy or whatever with this little peplum feature at the bottom I thought that was so interesting so um I think it will sell I think it will require a special kind of buyer but um I don't know probably list that for like 35 ish Next up, we have a loft piece. I don't really pick up loft anymore. I try really hard not to. Not because it's a bad brand, not because it doesn't sell, but because you have to pick up the right piece because um, there's a lot of loft out there on all the different reselling platforms. Um, loft is very saturated, and so you have to pick the kinds of pieces that other people are not selling, and I think this is definitely one of those pieces. First of all, it's Loft Plus, so it's a plus size piece again. It's a size 24, and it is this really cute jumpsuit in this chambray material. So this is what the front looks like. I really like the ruffles on the sleeves. It's got a cutout in the middle with this elastic waistband. And then it's got a belt. It looks horrible right now with the way that I'm showing it to you. But yeah, it's a jumpsuit. Um, it might be more of like, yeah, it's definitely cropped. It's not um, a full length jumpsuit. There is a little bit of pilling um, on the inside of the crotch, which I will definitely make sure that I disclose. But other than that, it's in really good shape. I think it's such a beautiful classic piece. And the fact that it's plus size, I think, um, is even better because there aren't a lot of great plus size options out there. So I'm really happy to carry some really classic and beautifully made plus size pieces in my closet. I thought this was beautiful. They wanted $8 for it. By the way, this loft piece Plato's wanted 18. I don't know how much I can get for it. Um, I'll have to look up comps and I'll let you know. This piece I thought was so beautiful. It is by the brand Entro, which is like a boutique -y brand. It's a size small, but look at these shorts. Look at how beautiful. So it's all just like stitching and embroidery. Um, I kind of really am digging the colorway too. It's like this ivory with this like lavender color and this gray but they're just a pair of high rise shorts. So pretty. I thought they were so pretty. They were only asking $8 for them. And intro, I typically have a pretty hard time moving, but I think these will do really well. I can't imagine that these will sit around in my store for too long. Um, I don't know how much to price them at, but I will take some pictures and let you know. There are like a few little, you know, poles and stuff, but for the most part, it's in really good shape. So super excited about that. Another Torrid piece. This is also in a size three, which is 3X again. Um, it is just this open front cardigan with like this really fun print. I really like this. Okay, how am I gonna? Okay, here we go. Um, it's got more of like a short sleeve. Yeah, I mean, I think you could call this a kimono. It seems pretty lightweight. Torrid usually doesn't use like the greatest materials. It's a lot of like polyester and stuff like that. Um, so this doesn't necessarily feel that great, but I think the style is there. Let's see. Yeah, it's 100% polyester. Um, but again, let's check out the tag. So this is from November of 2017. And yeah, I think it's a nice piece to have. I don't think it's going to make me a ton of money. I think I'll probably list it for like 25 and realistically get like 18 to $20 for it. But um, again, I'm just happy to carry some nice plus size pieces. Another pair of American Eagle shorts. This is the high rise shorty in a size 10. So a lot of things going for it. It's high rise. It's in a bigger size and it um, has some distressed detail to it. So really excited about these. Again, probably just listen for like 25 and hope to get 18 to 20. American Eagle also tells you um, on like a little tiny tag when the item is from, like the year. Um, and they have some numbers that could be the, uh, that could be like the style number. I don't usually look up stuff for American Eagle because they tell you right on the jeans you know, what they are called. But this is from 2016. They are a little bit older, but again, like shorts are so classic. There are only so many changes you can make to them. I still think that those will sell. I did a very thorough 
search on the insides of pants because I have gotten burned uh, in that crotch area. I think I've said enough. I think you understand how I've gotten burned and why and why I am now looking on the inside of pants at the crotch on every pair of pants from here on out. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. This I thought was just so fun. Um, I don't even drink alcohol, but this reminded me of Andy from The Office when he says like, beer me that water or beer me strength, or actually Jim says beer me strength, but I just thought it was a fun piece. It says beer me. It's got a palm tree in the background with this cool like circular graphic. Um, and it's like a dress. So it's a sh like a t-shirt dress, perfect for like the summer, perfect for vacations, perfect for lounging around in. Um, there's no brand associated with it. Like, nothing that I could find. I did figure out, I believe that it's a size medium because it says it on this teeny tiny tag on the bottom. And that's literally the only tag. So I can't even tell you what it's made out of, but it's actually really soft. So I feel like you could even sleep in this if you wanted, but I just thought that was too fun to pass up. I'll probably list it at 25 because that's my magic number. Next up is this dress from Zara. I think it's honestly a little bit older for style, but it was new with tags. It was a size small. They wanted $14 for it. It's this velvet v-neck dress with like this floral print. I don't think I'll get a ton for it, but I mean, it was new. It's pretty and it's velvet. I love velvet. It just, I just want to like stroke it all day. So I got that. I don't know how much I can get for it. This is the same uh, pair of leggings from Nike in the same size that I'm going to try on. If they don't fit me or if they're just not very comfortable, um, I will list them. It's got the swoosh on the bottom again. I like that the swoosh is in such a obnoxiously bright color. But yeah, I'll try these. And um, if I were to list them, list them for probably for like $25. This is a pair of shorts that I think someone kind of did like a DIY project on and I was happy to see that they did. So it's Levi's 505 regular fit straight leg in a size 32 by 30. So I, I think they were men's jeans, but then someone turned them into some really cool shorts with like a cutoff. Um, the, you know, the inseam is probably a good like two inches. So there is an inseam there, but they're high waisted and they just have a really cool classic look to them. And I was happy about that. Um, I have to do some research and figure out, are they like vintage Levi's? Cause that definitely does a little bit more, but yeah, the 505 in a size 32 waist. I thought those were really fun. They wanted $6 for these and no one bought them. So I bought them for much less. I bet these ended up being like a free pair. Cause what they did at the register was they would look at everything that I was purchasing in groups of three and just basically give me the lowest priced item within that group of three for free. And I think this is one of the cheapest items that I picked up, but I have a feeling it could have the most value. So we'll see. Um, just a couple more pieces. This is another pair of shorts by BDG, which is again, Urban Outfitters. I think this is newer because I've never seen this tag before. And this is the girlfriend high rise shorts. So again, high rise, um, I think it's a very popular trend. I love it personally because it keeps everything tucked in. Um, so I'm always on the hunt for high rise bottoms. They're in a size 26. They wanted $8 for these. Um, they had a couple unique features to them. So you know, I mean, I think your booty's still going to hang out in these, but maybe not as much as the other BDG jeans. And then I like this like stripe detail on the side with that fun, bold print. Um, yeah, probably list these for 25. And yeah, I think I'll start listing all of this summer stuff starting in, whatchamacallit, starting in February. This is another Zara piece, but this is Zara men. And um, this is in a size extra large, which is great. It is new with tags and they originally wanted, I don't even know how much, it says $79.90, but I think that's like a sale tag because I think there were tags underneath it that said different prices. Um, they wanted $14 for these. They are basically track pants with like, do you remember this? Um, like Nike used to do it, Adidas used to do it and you just like, snap the pants off so you could just like you know be running and just go whoosh and then like just rip your pants off like that um so i think zara was trying to bring that back i don't know so that's what's going on here 
but they're just a really casual, comfortable pair of pants with like the elastic waistband. I'm not gonna get anywhere near $79 for these, but um, I'll look it up, see if for whatever reason these were super popular and figure out how to price them and I'll let you know here. I think that was my last item. So that is everything that I got from Play-Dohs. If you are interested in any of that stuff, definitely check out my Shopify store because like I said, that is the place where I can offer you the cheapest price on any given item. And I forgot to mention that I also offer free shipping. I'm super excited to get this stuff listed. I have been moving more towards shopping at consignment stores, buy, sell, trade stores. I think that is a shift that I'm gonna be making in the year 2021. I definitely have been enjoying going to my local Plato's closet as well as local consignment stores. I will have a thrift with me type video at a local consignment store um, pretty soon. So again, subscribe if you haven't. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great start to the year and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!